Yeah, so I guess you can count this as one of the worst intros in video history, as thank you, Fallout, for deciding to spawn enemies in nearby for the first time ever since I've built this place. <sighs> What's up, guys? Kaduba here, and today I am showing off the player home for Leon, who has recently become leader of the Institute. He's never been my favorite character, and it definitely shows with his previous player home. Uh, it was just really lackluster and boring, but uh, I decided it was time to build him a player home fit for a leader of the Institute. So before we head inside the main build itself, I wanted to show off his personal shooting range. Leon is a bit of a gun aficionado, so it definitely seemed fitting that he would have this really awesome place to go play around with his guns. The main building itself is modern style. In this instance, the Institute is slowly becoming more and more accepted on the surface, and he is bringing a lot of the materials and the styles from the Institute above ground for settlements, and in this case, his own home. This build is definitely, it has a very unique layout. I placed the workshop via Conquest mod and I realized immediately I was unable to remove the clusters of trees, which meant that I had to kind of build around pre-existing foliage and rocks and stuff like that. Um, and the, with the land already being at an angle, it was such a challenge to make this place functional. Pretty much every single room that I did had to be revised at least twice to make everything really come together. Um, I would spend hours building a room only to realize there were clipping issues or the last tile wouldn't snap into place. I mean, it was rough. Um, I also wasn't able to use the Place Anywhere mod here, and that added a whole nother challenge. I mean, long story short, in terms of challenging builds, this one takes the cake. As for the interior, I did leave most of it as an open floor plan. The first floor consisting of the main living space. Uh, you have the basic living room, a full kitchen with dual burners, one of which is the functional cooking stove and the dining area. On the opposite side is the bathroom, which was another piece of the build that had to be revised so many times. And you may have also noticed dog meat kind of hanging out near the living area as well. Headed on up to the second floor right at the top of the steps, he has the gym area with different size weights and dumbbells. Um, I really wanted this build to reflect the personality of Leon. I really wanted it to feel like this is where he is living and this is where his favorite things are and no place reflects that more than his bedroom. Uh, the master bedroom has been fully decorated in the theme of the Nuka-Cola Rocket Girl, for which he has a special interest. He hasn't exactly been to Nuka World yet, but I'm guessing that once I do go there and go through that DLC, he's going to end up having more decorations to add to this room, and that really goes for this entire build. Even though he's progressed entirely through the main quest line, obviously, he hasn't even started the, any of the DLCs or side quests, and surprisingly, that means he has a lot left to do. Uh, so I do anticipate that there will be more added to this later on. Um, his, home, his home office is where he keeps all of the collectibles, like the magazines and the bobbleheads. Uh, he was a bit of a sports fan before the war, so he does have a little area set up for his sports memorabilia that he's picked up. Uh, the desk is covered in the usual clutter, including the issue of Grognak that was in the beginning of the game, as well as the special book from Sean's room. Headed on up to the roof, I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to utilize this space by putting in a rooftop garden. Um, however, the roof space ended up being quite large, so I was also able to add in a rooftop bar as well as a fire pit. Um, this roof also overlooks the workshop area and the pool deck. I decided to add some satellites and vents on top of the workshop just to make it a little bit more believable. Um, the garden itself is fairly simple. I added some flowers, some trees, and then just a couple of lounge chairs. Leaving the roof and heading back downstairs, back down the hall, past the laundry station, we are going to come to the pool deck. This is an addition that I really didn't plan on doing from the beginning, mostly because the area out here again is just super awkward thanks to those random tree clusters that I couldn't get rid of. But in the end, it ended up giving this pool a really unique shape. And with it being multi-leveled, I was able to add more space, so I was able to add in a hot tub. Because we all know that a great build needs a hot tub. <laughs> Uh, this place out here, this area, it really ended up being my favorite part of this build. There really is just something so awesome to be able to walk underneath the waterfall. Um, back behind these sliding doors uh, that say restricted, I've added some piping just to give the illusion like there's some sort of water circulation happening with the waterfall in the pool. And back behind these sliding doors is where he spends most of his time when he's here. Uh, this is the workshop area. It is multi-leveled. It does have giant screens projecting watcher footage from around the Commonwealth, as well as a regional map. Uh, there is a corner that has a small cot for the times when he fast travels in and is just too exhausted and can't quite make it to his room. 
Um, in reality, it's just a place for me to be able to progress through time fast. Um, there's also a Nuka mixer station and an Institute food station, um, the power armor station, plus the power armor display up above, and a very impressive weapons workstation because, of course, he loves his guns. Um, pretty much anything he needs is in this workshop. Um, I did set up a fast travel station to be in back in this back room uh, with an institute teleporter pad. So when he teleports in, he goes right to right through the teleporter pad, through these awesome doors, into a decontamination chamber before coming back out into his workshop. It ended up being a really awesome system. And that's the entire tour of Leon's Institute Mansion. Even though the Institute playthrough is definitely my least favorite, uh, this has ended up being my favorite player home yet. Uh, it was such a challenge to build, and I absolutely love how it came out. Uh, with all the revisions, it made for an incredibly unique player home that I probably couldn't replicate again if I tried. <laughs> um, like I said earlier, there's still a lot of stuff to do with this character, so I do expect there's going to be more to add in the near future. Uh, please feel free to leave me any feedback and suggestions. Uh, consider liking and subscribing. You can find me on YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook to stay up to date on all of my future videos. Um, I'm just super grateful to get the opportunity to share this build with you. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.